I saw the thumbnail when you came in. It's heating up out here. It's heating up. It's heating up. Shalom, 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 shalom. Welcome in the room. Y'all saw the thumbnail. It's heating up out here. Prophecy. Jumping. Off the pages of the Holy Bible. Whoa! And rumors of war. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I see you coming in the room. You can trust your Bible. And in the thumbnail, what did we say? We said the inevitable end. It's okay, it's all right. Here's a message from the club lost tribes. That's how it is. More right. The inevitable end. Yes. You mean they can't stop? No, they won't stop. Yeah. You mean we gotta go to war? No, no, not we. These heathens. These heathens gonna go to war and they war mongers. They live war, breathe war, walk war, talk war, sleep war, love war. War mongers. And it's heating up. I said, oh, I got to talk to Israel. Wait, I ain't, I'm talking about the bloodline descendants. I'm not talking about no Europeans right now coming up out of J5. Talking to our people. Shalom, shalom. We've been telling the world, we've been telling the world. Murray put a tear out of two. Murray always over the top. There you go. Okay. All right. Now what you going to say? Everything that we discuss on this channel. <laughs> now, I'm not saying we're the only channel discussing it. But what I'm saying is everything we discuss on this channel, we are watching it. I don't know if y'all really understand, like, I don't know if you understand the impact of that. How are we watching it happen? I did a series. If y'all would go back, if you would go back, not even, I don't even think it was, I don't think it's been a year ago, um, maybe like six, seven months ago. I did a series about the Valley of Decision. And I talked about in that series, the, the Valley of Jehoshaphat. And how, according to the Bible, Yah would draw. The nations of the world would hooks, either in their nose or in their jaw. Now, I got script for all that. What I'm saying is, in their hook, in their nose, or in their jaw, and he would drag, pull in like you pulling in a dragnet, like you pulling in fish, like you pulling up your, 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 your prey, and that you would, they would drag, he would drag the nations, and they would all come to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Why? It's called the Valley of Decision. And they think that they're coming to fight for one reason. But 
I'm telling you based on the scripture, they're coming into the valley of Jehoshaphat for a completely different reason. They don't even know why they're being dragged down into the valley of decision. They don't even know why. Now, let me tell you who does know why they're going. There are a group of these uppity ups and these muckety mucks who sit behind long tables drinking very high dollar scotch and fat, fat, fat cigars. They smoking fat cigars. And what they're saying to one another, they know they like, man, what are we going to do about this Bible prophecy? Why? Because they read and they know that the things in the Bible must come to pass. And what are they trying to do? Trying to keep the Confederacy together. Trying to keep the lie going about who we are. And let me tell you something, Zion. There, there is no amount of money they won't spend. And there is no amount of wars they won't fight in order to keep the truth about who we are and whose we are hidden from the world. And why is it so important that the truth of who we are and whose we are stay hidden from the world? Why is that so important, Maura? I'll tell you why. Because once it is expose it is the end of white supremacy in this world as we know it today do you hear the morning Ray? and you talking about cards i was just i was talking to uh to um javon about this not too long ago him and you you know we talk all the time and i said When, when the white folk, if we use that term around right here, we don't, we don't call them, be respectful now. When J. Feth and all of his descendants, primarily speaking, the European, who has fought wars for the last hundred some years, and have committed themselves to a certain people that they believe are Yah's chosen people and that they believe our are in the Abrahamic covenant, which says, if you bless them people, you be blessed. You curse them people, you're gonna be cursed. They think in their mind, I'm not about the average one, they think that that's what they're doing by staying with these sons and daughters of Japheth. What is going to happen when they realize, and it's coming out now, what's going to happen when they realize who Israel really is? Who the bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob really are? Wait until the world and the more I've been putting the message out, wait until the world and these Europeans who so-called love they God, love they what Jesus, love they country, love Israel, wait till they find out it's us. And I can hear what they're going to say. No way. No, no, it can't be. Come on now. Anybody, anybody but the necklace. It can't be them. Wait till you find out. Wait. Now that right there is going to be a cold, cold day of reckoning. And that's why Putin showed those pictures. That's why Putin was like, let me tell y'all something. It ain't about these bombs. I know that's what you think. The solution to all the problems is going to be just more bombs, more missiles. I know that's what you thought. That's the solution to all the world's problems. There's just more bombs, blowing up more stuff, killing more people, more destruction, more mayhem. But that ain't the problem in the world. 
But what's the problem? He said, bring them pictures up. This is the real problem right here. And let me tell you something. When you when I talk about the the uh, when I when I speak about the events lining up. Now, as a moral, Ray, I hate war. I'm talking about especially these unjust wars. But there's nothing you can do. It, it's inevitable. The word inevitable means it's going to happen. It can't be stopped. See, these warmongers have set something in motion. They think they are doing it by themselves, but they don't know. That's our Elohim. That's our power. That's our Abba Yah setting up the scene for the redemption of his own people. Now, if y'all in this room and you can hear me loud and clear, I'm not going to keep you long. Put a number seven in the chat, please. Let me get a drink of water real quick. I had to come in the room. I had to. I had to say something. Put a seven. After I by y'all allowed me to uh to once again share the good news with the house of Israel. If y'all have, and I'm talking about the true bloodline descendants when I say that. If y'all haven't had a chance to see Shabbat message, um, this particular Shabbat. You need to check it out. We we talked um, in the we were in the book of Isaiah chapter one, and we dealt with Yah's case. I suggest the whole world see it. It, it was titled Yah's case against us. Um, I'm gonna fast forward now because I, because of time, and I know a lot of y'all probably watching on your break and on your lunch hour. Hallelujah. And some of y'all, unfortunately, got to be a sneak listener in the room. <laughs> Hallelujah, too. <laughs> so I'm not going to stay long right now. But I do want to say this. I introduced Isaiah to the world to show the world that the punishment that Abayah promised to put on Israel because of disobedience, that there would be a a, an opportunity for Israel, the true bloodline, his children, the house of Yehuda, to repent and to turn and to come back to him, to reason together, and, I'm, and, and that he would fix it. It'd be red like crimson, red like scarlet. Next thing you know, white like lambs, wool, white as snow. So I wanted to, sh I wanted to introduce that to show the world that, that particular time of punishment that Yah did on us is over now. Whew. Uh, even uh, talking to, uh, even Netanyahu and others that we spoke of, uh, with, we talked about how that, that, that uh, last eclipse was more than just the blocking out of the sun. It was a sign. And before we could wipe the eclipse and the residue of the eclipse out of our eyes, boom, 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 boy, they start letting loose rockets, drones. Y'all saw the footage. Couldn't hardly get a week before all hell broke out. Where? In the Holy Land. But where at in the Holy Land? In the Valley of Jehoshaphat. In the Valley of Decision. And this is what they're saying. They're saying we got to respond. And it has to escalate from here. It must. It has to. 
Ooh, I done been in this, I done been in the room already 15 minutes. I ain't told you who I am. If you're new in the room, I'm Dr. Yoshiahu Dawi, Ben Israel of the Awakening Remnant Coalition. Our goal is to help wake up Jacob all over the world and to take the word of Yah to the whole world. And our goal is to help our people understand who we are and whose we are and what time it is. And told our rebuff for you who support this work, we ask that you send a donation to the station if these messages are helping you and you look forward to being in the room. You might not notice, but we're a full-time ministry. This is what we do every day. This is what I do every day, all day. And I've been called to talk to the house of Israel concerning the scriptures and properly interpreting the scriptures for the house of Israel. Now, I'm looking at two texts, and I'm, I'm, I see my time. That, that took less than two minutes, but we really do need your help. Um, I'm looking at two scripts that I've been talking about for a while. One, Matthew 24, verse 6, because I, gotta, I have to also try to help Israel. We've seen this so many times. This, remember, this Bible was written... And this text right here was written almost 2,000, over 2,000 years ago. That's why I say it can be trusted. When you go to Matthew 24, and you get to verse 6, you're going to see a word that says, And many, and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Oh, really? Yeah. But see that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end, which he's talking about, the final end, is not yet. This is a precursor to him. The wars and the rumors of war that he's talking about is the war that we're going to experience in our generation. When Yah pulls in the world to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which is the valley of decision. Yeah, nation gonna rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And all these are the beginning of sorrows. And then it goes on talking about some other things, but, I, but, but for this video, I wanted to show you that. It's inevitable. Man does not decide or realize or figure out how to function without being a warmonger. Now let's go to that Luke chapter 21, same passage that we've highlighted for about the last four or five months now. <laughs> we keep bringing up this passage. Why? Because it's in the Bible and it's true. When you get to Luke chapter 21 verse 9, It says, but when you he shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified of those things. Don't be terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Stop. Sound like he just, uh, they're saying the exact same thing. Matanyahu and Lucas. What time is it? I don't want to keep y'all too late. Okay, just got a couple more minutes and I'm going to be out for today. We'll come back later on. Hopefully, if we don't come back tonight, we'll be back tomorrow, hopefully, because Zion, we got to talk about this. See, He tells us not to trip because he knew that we would be in a position in the last days where we wouldn't have the, we wouldn't be involved in this. Mm -mm, we're not involved in this. What do you mean, Moore? What I mean are we are sons and daughters of slaves that live in these lands 
And these lands are the lands where we were held captive. We were slaves here. Our grandmother and grandfather served as chattel slavery here and all over the world. We are a people, according to this old, uh, this old wicked world, we are a people without a nation. We don't have a nation. We're just niggas and spooks. We're just sons and daughters of slaves. We ain't nobody to the world. We don't have no military. We don't have a president. We don't have a leader. We don't even have right now our own land. We don't have rockets and missiles and drones. And uh, we don't have battleships. We don't have submarines. We don't have special forces in the Navy and special forces in the army, no special forces of Marines. We don't have none of that. We don't have the gold. We don't have the power. We don't own no oil. So the master said, hey, for you, don't trip. Ain't no reason you getting terrified. Why? It ain't your fight. And if you wanted to fight, you can't fight. Because Yah set it up to where you are powerless against your enemy. So what does he tell you to do? Don't be terrified. Just know that the end is coming. That's all. Just know that this is a step. This ain't the final end. No, these heathens ain't finna ruin. They're not going to end the world fighting each other. Now, I know they listening to me in Washington, D.C. I know they listen to me. And the Kremlin. They listen to the Maori in merry old England. They listen to the Maori in all the nations of the world. They listen to me. And I'm going to tell them like I'm telling y'all that's in the room. I'm going to tell everybody assigned to listen to the Maori. Listen, let me tell y'all what's getting ready to happen. These world leaders are going because they are going to fulfill his will to avenge us of what y'all did to us and you know it. You think you're going down here for one reason. You're going down for another. And then they said, America said they're going to stay out of it. Didn't y'all hear it? When they, you remember when Gaza and the land over there, you remember they started fighting and they said, we're going to stay out of it. There will be no, there will be no boots on the ground. There will be, we, we're not going to, we're not going to do it. H have y'all heard that? If you heard them say that, put a 100 in the chat. I'm about to get out. Put a 100. Did you hear them say, we ain't getting involved in that? We will not be putting no boots on the ground. We're just going to let them work it out. Would you please put a 100 so that all the sneak listeners and all the powers that be in the world and all the kings and the potentates and everybody in their cabinets that sneak listen to the moral ray will know that the people watching the ark know good and well that I told the people and that they've heard it themselves and they say ain't going to be none of us involved. I came online and told the world, yes, you are too. <laughs> you think you ain't going. You going. Y'all going to put a hook in your nose. You're going to have to go. And when they let these things loose, see, it's one thing for Gaza to do it. You know, what can Gaza do? It's one thing, you know what I'm saying? That's Gaza. So, as you can see, that them Europeans been tearing Gaza up. Relentless slaughter of those people. It is not only a sin, it's a shame when you see that European in all of his European fury and all that and all of that um unbridled and unchecked power, wickedness at his at on display in front of the whole world.
that this right here, this is another thing here. This is something else. This right here is the final hook in the noses of all of the world powers. That's why they keep trying to tell you things like, we don't know what's gonna happen right now. We, we not sure what's gonna happen. Oh no, you know what you gotta do. You know you can't have this. You can't have nobody living next door to you send 300 missiles. You gotta get in. I, I thought we wasn't gonna get in the fight. Oh, I told you, <laughs> you getting drug in by yeah. And it ain't got nothing to do with what you think. It has everything to do with us. Nations other than Russia, these nations still won't acknowledge who we are and whose we are. Don't want to help us. Don't want to give us no reparation. Don't want to. Don't want to uh, 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 tell the world. They don't want to confess like the Bible said. They they, they fighting. They don't want to have to bow down knees and confess to the world that Yah has loved us. And because of their wickedness, and because Yah set it up to where. Where even though we were captive, they were not supposed to further the captivity. And because they become rich, and because they have said we are invincible, then war, war three is inevitable. Why? Because when it's all said and done, y'all, whether you like it or not, my Elohim. Uh, he gonna get the glory. So what you gonna do, Moray? Praise him. Give him thanks. Turn my face toward the covenant. Bow my knees at his feet. And tell him, told I rebel for being the Elohim of your word. Told I rebel for your veracity. Told I rebel for your promise to avenge your children. And, and oh, and by the way, let me pack my, let me get my bags packed. Uh, what? Brought to you by the wicked and rich correlation. Once they clean all that out, we're going on. If y'all know we're going home soon, put a one million in the chat. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. But we're gonna. But we're gonna. We're gonna come back together. Talk about this some more. Support the work of the art. Send a donation to the station. Help us to stay full time with what we do. Pray for me. I'm praying for you. This war is inevitable. But remember Zion, Israel, hear me. Bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hear me. This ain't your fight. This is their fight. Don't be terrified. Come on. You need to get ready to meet the king. You need to keep looking up. Loosen up your bodies too tight. It's okay. Because your redemption. Here's a message from the 12 lost tribes. Draws nine. Make sad baby stop crying. I make fish without fish start frying. I know Hallelujah. you hear stop lying. I feel good the more your body just try. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. Oh.